Hi, my name is Gabriel Lewis from Goldsboro, North Carolina. I'm 17 years old and a senior in high school. My story is about getting something healthier for lunch. I come from a family that suffers from obesity and other problems related to weight gain, like high blood pressure and asthma. So I care about the kind of food I put in my body. I want healthy food for lunch, and I found out a lot of kids at my school feel the same way, so I set out to make a difference. Hello! How are you doing, America? Welcome to McDonald's, man, take your order. Big Mac, color fries, soda popper. Apple pie, rock, pepper, scissors, shoe. Jalen. I got you. Mm. Welcome to McDonald's, man. Take your order. Big Mac, color fries, soda papa. Apple pie, rock, pepper, scissors, shoe. Rock, pepper, scissors, shoe. Someone just had McDonald's. <clears throat> So, I'm very glad to see him out here. But everybody in the house just left me here, and I got up and I looked around, no one was here, and they came back with like McDonald's and stuff, so I'm like. Not me. Uh, I ain't have nothing but a little fat ice cream, and that's all. I didn't get nothing else. Not that kind of person. From when he was a baby, he looked so cute. At first it was cute because he was a baby and he was a little chunky. But then it got, you know, older. And when he was five, he was 110. And now he's eight, not even 10 yet, and almost 200 pounds. Well, at first, I had really high blood pressure. And then now, I'm at medium, so I don't have to take my um, blood pressure medicine anymore. And then recently, my uncle had went to the hospital because he had, blood, he had high blood pressure. I'm just trying to live a more healthier life. I'm trying to get my family on board. And I really started all this because seeing my family go through health problems and my mother have to get a gastric bypass because she wasn't going to live very long if she didn't. And my family just goes through a history of obesity, diabetes, asthma, just so much. And I just didn't want to see my family die. So I just, you know, decided that I needed to make a change. And it starts with me first, and then my family, and then I can tell others in the community to make a change as well. We're gonna plant some more watermelon, strawberry, um, cantaloupe, tomatoes, and, um, Onions, okras, um, zucchini, and red peppers. I mean, just seeing kids out here and they're so happy about it and saying, I can't wait till it's growing so I can eat it and all this good stuff, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel really good. Because they're growing their own food and it's healthy. They know where it comes from, so I'm happy. I haven't eaten fast food or drank a soda since June or July of last year. Oh, thank you. And when I got to school, I thought, well, I don't like cafeteria food either, so I'm not going to eat cafeteria food. So this will be my first school year that I haven't eaten cafeteria food. I brought my food from home. I'm in a group SWARM, and that stands for Students Working for our Agricultural Revolutionary Movement. And we are youth food activists. We should eat fresh fresh food, and we should learn about food justice, knowing where our food comes from, and the right to have our own food, and the right to, if we grow it, we should be able to eat it. Cabria at first stopped eating fast food, and it was kind of hard for us because whenever we go out to get something to eat, you know, we always getting some fast food, something quick and easy. And it was kind of hard because she didn't eat anything. So then, I looked up again, she said, well, Mom, I'm not doing any pork or no meat. And I'm like, okay. Now, whenever I go to the grocery store, I have to buy Cabrilla food and our food. One day I might convert over. 
But right now, I need to still enjoy my fried chicken and my other stuff as well. But you're still doing good. You stopped the candy for a while and your yeah. chips. Yeah, I have a problem with Lay's lightly salted potato chips. <laughs> and it seemed like I was eating a whole bag a day. You know, I'd rather eat the potato chips than anything else. surveys I've got from Thursday and, and Friday and I went um, through these actually and saw that they thought the cafeteria food was poorly nutritional and they didn't think there was a um, lot of variety um, and most of the people said they eat school lunch every day because they have no choice I'm thinking about sending them either to the mayor or the Board of Education so we can hopefully make a change um, for the school lunch I'm hearing that you guys know about uh, the six things plants need to grow healthy and strong. So what's the P part of the plan? Say it out loud. Place. Place, okay. Can I put some chicken scraps on top of my... No! Why? My plants can't eat that too? No! It look like a disaster. <laughs> Y'all don't eat that. I grew a cucumber. That was my first thing. And I ran through the house. I'm like, Mom, I got a cucumber. And she was like, that's good, that's good. And I, you know, I went outside and checked them all the time. And I finally got a cucumber. And so I washed it off and chopped it up and salted it and vinegar on it and everything. And I was just so excited. And it was like so fresh. It's like it wasn't processed like meats or whatever. I mean, it was fresh and I knew where it came from because I grew it. so. I felt proud of my accomplishment. Proud of you. How you rate your school meal variety? Yay or blah? <laughs> 84 blahs. On Wednesday, we're going to talk to um, Miss Barbara Ward. She's the Wayne County lunch director. Mm -hmm. We should be able to have a say on what we want to eat, not just the same thing every day or what's handed to us because sometimes we go through the line and all this is pizza. There's no choice. You just get pizza, keep it moving. So. Mm -hmm. When you go to talk to Ms. Ward, these are all the regulations that she has to meet when she looks at it. So that's a big job and a lot of paperwork. Mm -hmm. Remember to keep it personal. You are powerful. 
your story is powerful because it means a lot to you. Make sure you convey that to her. It'll be a good meeting. It'll go well. I hope. <laughs> so, yeah. The main thing of the survey was just that they want healthier food or they want more variety of what they can choose to eat rather than, you know, like I said, the same thing. And some of the things that we decided to just be the core of this is to have a salad bar so that they can um, go in when they want to, if they want this on their salad or that on their salad, something healthier. Most teens, they're not, you know, they're self-conscious about their weight. And many kids um, are obese or either overweight or not healthy about their weight. And food, to me, plays a big factor in that. You know, we've got at least three entrees every day. Yes, ma'am. You know, we've got four choices of fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And we have fresh fruit or vegetable every day. Okay. You know, whether it be apple, orange, or garden salad or whatever. You know, we used to have a salad bar. There's, you know that little yes. area in your cafeteria that's yes, squared sir. off? That used to be strictly for a salad bar. Mm -hmm. but, but a salad bar is very costly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, it takes extra labor. You know, the, there's a lot of food waste. The things that they said more or less of was, of course, the French fries right. and the, mm -hmm. the pizza mm -hmm. and the Chick-fil-A. Um, but they said... Um, some more healthier foods that that just kept you know getting to them and i was like well what is healthy to you and they said just more vegetables more mm -hmm. fruit more seasonal things say if a strawberry is in season let's bring that into it if a banana you know things like that i am willing to visit whatever mm -hmm. you know i can't promise anything right. you know because we do have regs and things that we have to follow mm -hmm. and so we've got to be in compliance with our meals right. So there are some stipulations in there mm -hmm. that are unchangeable. Right. Mm -hmm. You have put a lot of hard work yes. in this, and I do appreciate it. Thank you. But um, we just need to see what we can do. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you so Thank much. You. It was a pleasure meeting you. You too. That's great. All right. Thank you. <laughs> when I say I want to change the world, it's like I know that most people or some people will be like, that's impossible. You're not going to do that. You're, that's not going to happen. You're not going to be able to do this or do that. It kind of makes me feel like, wow. And then I see, I start thinking about, I'm trying to change the world and my community, but I haven't started at home first. I haven't changed people around the house. But I mean, it's a gradual change, very slow change. But I mean, they're they're really changing their habits too, so it's like, that gives me more motivation. Bacon, who I want to put bacon bits, they can put it in the yep. eggs. Everywhere, let's say, so good at a piece. 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 Everyw
healthy school lunch, don't you? Yes, please sign our petition to support our school lunch campaign. Great initiative. Thank you. And good luck to you. I mean, what are you going to do with the petition? But as many people as possible, if we can get this, I can send that back to the nutrition, child nutrition uh, lady for Wayne County. And that could be an even better way to get a yes from her as far as the salad bar. And Absolutely. Healthy. Okay. Great. Thanks. Good luck. I'm trying to get back in touch with Barbara Ward, so waiting on her to reply or call back. So. I do have evidence and pictures of what I see. There's no, the only vegetable is really the potatoes. And it's no color on the plate, no variety, no, you know, greens. See, here is the chicken noodle stuff with the, I think this applesauce in there with french fries. No real vegetable, no fruit, except for the applesauce and, you know, so. Miss Ward said, well, I think we're doing a great job with our nutrition standards. She was just saying a basic no in a way that it kind of sounded nice, not to hurt anyone's feelings, but she just wasn't having the change as far as a um, salad bar. She wanted to take us teenagers seriously about things we're really passionate about, which is getting the salad bar and eating healthier. But at the same time, Ms. Ward was just, um, no, basically. So it was basically a no. But for me, it's just another roadblock that I'm going to get around and go to a higher source. So. Just right there in front. Yeah. Sure, oh. you know. Okay. Good morning. Somewhere? In the middle? Yes, sir. This is the future right here. And it's a great future. And I want to encourage the kids to continue to eat vegetables. Continue to watch what you eat. Eat healthy. Everybody on three say thank you, Mr. Mayor. One, thank two, you. three. Thank you, Mr. You are welcome. the school system to see we have a strong ally in the mayor mm -hmm. like I think um, it just kind of would show the role the, the role that having like heavy-duty allies can play to push what we hope to change because we know this he's not the person mm -hmm. that would 
bring a salad bar in, you know. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we know that he has influence. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Let's go. Hi there, how are you? The meeting is hereby called to order. So um, I actually have the pleasure of introducing Cabrilla Lewis, who is going to talk to you about um, our school lunch campaign. Hello, my name is Cabrilla Lewis. I go to Wayne School of Engineering. I am a member of Wayne Food Initiative's Emerging Leaders Program, um, SWARM, and that stands for Students Working for an Agricultural Revolutionary Movement. What the teenagers wanted to see at our school was a better food, healthy food, salad bar, so we can get fresh seasonal fruits, fresh seasonal vegetables, things like that. So I'm very concerned about my health. Other teenagers think the same thing. Me, coming from a family of high blood pressure, obesity, um, other things of that nature, it's really hard for me, so I feel like I should choose something healthier rather than a cheeseburger every day or Chick-fil-A, french fries every day. I feel like we should have something better. And for me to help establish getting a salad bar maybe, it would be a great thing if the city council would maybe write a letter of saying, hey, I'm on your side, hey, let's get this moving, or something like that for us to really get better food in our cafeteria systems. Thank you. Wow. Well, well, I can tell you, ma'am, I'm on your side. (laughs) Absolutely on your side. And it's quite interesting that we shall have a young person leading us adults. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, I I will commend you. Thank you for for doing what you're doing. And I I would suggest, Mr. Mayor, that you do write a letter of support from this council. Mm -hmm. Consider it done. We will will definitely do that. And whatever we can do, this council, we all agree with you. There was a time when there was a salad bar at Goldsboro High. Okay, but I worked there many times. I mean, for a long time, and there was a salad bar. So, so um, somebody decided. Well, yes, it was healthy. I don't know if that was the reason, but it's strange that a young person is saying, "Let's have a salad bar," and there's opposition to a salad bar. I look forward to, and we finally have it, so I'm happy about it. 